Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Kamusta? Today we are gonna show you my walk-in closet. Let's get started.
let me tell you about how I ended up collecting all these things some people might call this like shit but to me these are all my treasure these material things made me happy and because this is like all of this one each and every one of these has a sentimental value to me so they are really really important so, um, um, I started collecting this um, collection, whole collection. This is actually not the whole thing. Um, some of it, I already sold it um, while we're still in Melbourne because um, we are moving. So, I, I, I thought I'll sell some so that we're not really bringing too much but then I realized um, I'm gonna build a walk-in closet in Queensland so here I am luckily um, most of um, the things that I loved and collected is still here so let me tell you about the story how how this get started uh, it started um, around 2009 um, since I arrived from the Philippines to here to Australia 
um, it's it's kind of like when I start feeling like lonely down um, you know the feeling of like homesick um, instead of like being depressed cry I just like told my husband I want to go shopping so luckily my husband lets me and he just supports whatever I want to do in my life so which is awesome he's one in a million you know that okay that's that's his mind <laughs> so anyway um yeah um it's yeah seriously it's it's um it's kind of like like for example i feel like you know suddenly because um when you're away from your family yeah <laughs> i just some people like likes to collect some other things but to me i collect co like to collect all these material things it's makes me happy like i don't have money in my bank i have money here in my closet so so now if i feel like sad i just go in this room and have a look you know it's kind of like i'm in a shopping center so it lights up my day if i'm sad and lonely if i'm grumpy yeah so yeah some people like to go travel likes to eat spend their money on food um collect something else memorabilia or something i don't know but this is what this is where my money goes and also my husband's money <laughs> and then and then i'm gonna show you the the first um really expensive my husband brought me this um this eva eva clutch this is um he gifted me this one on my 31st birthday while we were still in melbourne i already showed you this bag in in one of my video um back in the days this um this was just 695 and today you couldn't buy this anymore because um it's discontinued that means um this will gonna um the value of this one will just go up 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 and up so which is awesome and Obviously, I'm not going to sell this one because I already put on my initials in there. If you could see that. So, yeah. And then... That's how it all started in my Louis Vuitton um, collection grow. So, and also, um, in Melbourne, um, we also like, there's a group in Melbourne, like, um, a Filipino group that does, um, like a gathering or get together, like, like food and dance something. It was it something like you buy a ticket that has, um, free meals in, in the ticket um drink all you can um three course meal and then you do like you know disco and something so that's how i end up collecting high heels because um me and my husband um that was before chloe we we like to socialize and and i show you um my my fa one of my favorite shoes in my collection is this one. This is um, Nine West. This is not in stock anymore because this was like, I think 2010. 
I'm not sure to toss on a 10, I think. So these are all like encrusted in there. So this is like six inches. Was it six or yeah, four? I think the the things I already said it before. I think this was like five inches. I think it was yeah. So if you can, see, oh sorry, it's this way. <laughs> That is really, this is really comfortable guys, but it's too long. I mean, it's too high, but it's really comfortable. Um, this is also is one of my favorite. So yeah, that's really a metal spikes in there. It's a spikes. This um this shoes um is from some Edelman. I actually bought it um this one here in Brisbane while we were on holiday. Well we 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 are still in Melbourne. So and also I miss um what I miss about Melbourne is that they the shopping is near where we live like for example the Chadston we we live in Chadston 10 minutes away so imagine that I always if I'm not home I'm in Chadston <laughs> Chadston DFO Harbour Town that's that's where I am at and then I discovered the TK Max also there is a big huge um TK Max in um Melbourne as well um near in um Southern Cross station and train station and also um, I also like did collect sneakers I started with Adidas and um, this was my this wasn't my first Adidas I got the the blue stripes which was too big for me I gave it to my friend in Melbourne as a remembrance um, yeah uh, so then this was my second Adidas this is the I forgot what's the called what's it called but yeah I love this one as well this is like I always wear this one and also And also having all of this collection is not really wasteful maybe you'll think that I'm just wasting the room so no I, we're not wasting this room because um, we don't need extra room um, this house has um, actually three three bedrooms so one for me and my husband and one for Chloe so this is the spare um, you might think that we should do this as a um, guest bedroom but we don't really have guest if we gonna have a guest um, maybe um, in the in the lounge because we have two lounge here so yeah and also So guys, and also if um, if you're gonna ask all of these bags, which is my favorite, you're gonna ask me which one is my favorite. Um, all I c I couldn't say that I have a favorite bag, but definitely, um. I don't know maybe the one that I always wear is my favorite <laughs> but I love all of them so they're staying so they're not going anywhere this is my current favorite this um, the you know the Michael Kors red that the graffiti that I just got the last few months I think yeah this 
this baby. And so, so this, all of this will not be waste, as I've said, because um, I have Chloe. She also likes um, shiny things. <laughs> She's definitely my child. She likes bling. She likes um, glitter. She likes. She loves bags. She loves everything. She she even told me like she loves my shoes and if her um, feet will um, you know fit with my shoes. She was, she said she's gonna wear them. It's like you're still. Even if you, your feet's gonna be bigger than mine, that's obvious because my feet is just size six and she, her feet is already grown big and she's just seven. So yeah, she's gonna have a massive foot. Anyway, she, she can't inherit my shoes because she's gonna have a big feet. I already foreseen that. But so this is the thing. That's why I like... Um, collecting bags and collecting this because it makes me happy plus Chloe can inherit all of this one so this will never never ever be wasteful so let me <clears throat> so let me introduce you on my um, Louis Vuitton bags collection so Let's start with this one on top. This was my latest um, Louis Vuitton that I bought. If you if you watch my video, I got this from um, um, the lady from Facebook page, and this is really really nice in full um, packaging with it so I'm really happy so the name of this bag is um, Thames the size is PM so PM that stands for like the small size I think there was a small or medium no it's a small so this is small because um, Louis Vuitton has PM MM and GM so PM is small MM is medium and GM is large so yeah this is pm this is really cute and oh it really matches my outfit everything matches with my outfit <laughs> seriously this is nice it's cute so yeah this is really a bargain it's a good but it's a it's a good bargain it's a good price um, I think I just paid six six hundred and fifty dollars from this one, which the original price, um, where the receipt that she included in the in my purchase, she bought it two thousand and eleven for one thousand one hundred something. So nearly one thousand, nearly twelve hundred. So this is like half price, but in reality, this is really a winner because. As I've said, Louis Vuitton will never, ever, ever, ever give you discount. Never. If, if you know, someone says like, oh, I got discount from Louis. No, it's fake. So she must, she might got that fake. But as I've said, Louis will never, ever give you discount. Well, they will never sale. No sale. That's the only shop that I know that doesn't do sale. So yeah, and every every year, guys, every year at least, um, I believe they they um, up their price too, or at, at, uh, before they just um, increase their price once a year. But I believe I heard people they say like at least two three times this year already. So yeah that's that's ridiculous and let me tell you about this bag this is the um, this is the 
the I'm so careful because my hands is really disgustingly sweaty <laughs> um, I have a sweaty palm I don't know this is disgusting since since I can remember um, yeah this bag is a is a speedy 30 it's a bandolier that has bandolier has the the straps like you know for if you want a crossbody for traveling and, and all so there is a uh, straps with this one somewhere in the box so I'm not gonna get it today I'm just I'm gonna tell you this this bag um, oh look at that it matches my outfit again um, my husband bought this for me after I gave birth to Chloe so it's kind of like they call this a push birthday uh, push present so yeah this 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 was my push present from my husband back in the day this um the price for this one is um 1610 so it's like 1600 how much was it 1600 90 16 yeah somewhere somewhere 1690 but today this this day without even no stocks at all it's like 2200 so um this was year when when was Chloe born 2003 yes so yeah that's what I'm talking about the price is up and up and up start from 1690 this this um this time it's like 2200 i think i believe i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure it's already in two grand so yeah this is a winner it's still it's still look at the patina guys it's still so beautiful so yeah that still gorgeous because I don't really use this like every day just use this like you know occasional I was even thinking of putting my initials um, here or here so I still haven't decided that yet so we'll see And as you see in my latest video, this bum bag was my latest in the brand new purchase. Uh, I actually haven't used this yet because I'm scared of the, the leather to um, for the watermarks. As I've said, my hand is sweaty, disgustingly sweaty, so I, I am scared to touch it. So, yeah. This is still brand new, like haven't wear this outside or even here inside a house. She's still gorgeous, still white, pale white. And also, um, this bucket bag, bucket. Yeah, this is called bucket bag with uh, a touch pouch in it. It's super cute. I got I bought this one at um, from Aras Vintage. She, I got this from I think I got her the bag, and I bought the pouch from from the lady on Facebook. So. Um, which is awesome because they are actually good together because that's how it should be they they should have like the bucket bag and then the pouch to go with it because um, you need this pouch because there's no zipper in so for your um, important things should be in this one and yeah it's just I put like um, 
bubble bag in there so that it will <clears throat> retain the shape. And also, I also have this bag. This is the Papillon. I think this is um, size 30. I'm not sure if this is 30 or 26. But I'm sure this the, the name of this bag is Papillon. So uh, if you see in my video, Chloe was wearing this um, baby and I was carrying this one so yeah so cute huh this is um I think this was um year the 80s this is year 80s cause this the 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 leather was still like dark brown instead of the lighter leather and it's still gorgeous at this age this is like 40 year old bag 40 year old imagine that so cute you can wear it like this something like that with this one like there it's fine or you can leave it off and you can just put it inside to put, to hold your essentials I also put the bubble um, plastic there so that it, it will hold the shape I also got this bag from Ara as well So careful because there's plastic inside. You might drag the plastic. So yeah, that's how. That's cute, huh? Really cute. And this one. This is um this bag called Trovel. Um, there's a. The bigger one for this still uh, Louis Vuitton still sells it uh, it's called Duvel but this is the baby the baby size of the Duvel this is called Truvel so I also bought this from Aras as well so it's really nice and spacious inside and you could wear it like so i was planning to buy a um a, uh, i think it's a scarf something to bind and to cover the, the this arm because uh, as you can see i did try to clean this one this is already clean and um lighter from the color since i bought it but I'm still not happy about the, the browning. I'm thinking of going to Louis Vuitton and have them all the vachetta replace. But I'm thinking then it's going to be super duper expensive. I, I have a... Because I already um, pre-asked the lady when, when, when we went to buy my bum bag. I, I mentioned it to her that I have something to replace the bachetta. She said um, roughly she could save $500. Like I was like, oh shit, really? But anyway, I think it's gonna be worth it. We'll see about, or maybe, no, cause if I'm gonna sell this one day, Louis Vuitton is not um, selling this 
small size anymore. That's my point. That's why I might hold on to this one and just buy the scarf to cover the the arm. I mean the you know the, the holder or change all the letters so we'll see I'm gonna update to you guys if I'm gonna do it um, if you want to see the inside there's two um, two zipper pulls oh it's really soft it's really really soft zipper pull I also have this one and I have a generic um, the the armband I mean you know the scarf thingy uh, but um, I want the original Louis Vuitton scarf I'm just gonna show you what I was talking about to cover like this to cover the the arm the arm holder what's the arm holder <laughs> <sighs> sorry guys my my English, my words are scrambled, but please bear with me. English is not my first language. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So, I have the generic. Actually, I got two. Ara gave this free with my purchase, which she's really lovely lady. You should try her. Um... So that's the inside. There's lots of compartment, really. Really. You can put like an overnight on your overnight um, stuff in there. If you're gonna go somewhere for for just a night, stroll in your essentials and off you go. What I love is this zipper is so soft. I'm even surprised myself. Because um there's I, I nearly bought this kind of bag in Melbourne um from Ozale. They have a, a warehouse sale in Melbourne and then they're actually like seven hundred and the zipper it can it couldn't you could even barely open it because it's so hard and this one is like it's like butter it's just you know open it nice and I also have this um, I'm gonna show you the I'm bringing my lady <laughs> I'm bringing my lady so this mannequin has no head but I this the head is I use it for you know the hat holder with summer now so these are all be useful so I have this head green um bum bag I have this head green I have this the latest I just bought this um, coach bum bag. If you if you seen my video, this coach bum bag was on my one of my video, and also this is my one of my favorite easy going. Um, look at that! It's so cute. Matches me. Um, easy going, cute shoulder bag or as a cross body bag this is my um, my go-to if I'm just you know quick and in a hurry just grab this one and put my essentials in there and yeah off I go um this bag's called Bluis um yeah this is the Bluis B L O I S Bluis 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 yeah and where did I bought this one? Ah, from from the lady in Facebook as well. Um, yeah, this is I don't know. I can't remember how much did I paid for this. This is so nice and still 
it's still really really good the patina is so perfect I don't mind buying um, secondhand Louis Vuitton because because I know I couldn't buy that at store anymore because it's discontinued that's why I'm I'm prepared to pay and buy it even if it's secondhand but I'm always making sure that e e if it's worth it like you know the 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 product it's still worth the value so I always do some research before I buy things so yeah this is this is really a good buy and also um, this one this one also is I've been eyeing this for a long time from the from you know because this is obviously um, discontinued this is called Amazon um, this is this is unisex mostly for men men's are wearing this one but I, I fell in love with this bag since I watched Jordi Shore was it Jordi <laughs> was it the Jordi Shore um, Snooky her bag was this one <laughs> I, I saw it every time I was like I, I like that bag so yeah then I I scout and find this bag took me like six months to wait for this one and the lady on Facebook that um, I told her I want I want it if she has the Amazon she said no not yet because it was um, always sold out like people are this is a really high highly sought after so yeah I was like oh mama I really I really want it so and then she's like oh I have I have one actually for you reserved so yeah I said yep go so, sold it for me so that's how I got this one I think I paid like I oh, know I think I got this one from Ara yeah this was from Ara's as well I paid like $700 for this one yeah this was from Ara's and the good thing with Ara's um, she do a free shipping so which is a big this is really a good deal and she's a lovely lady um, and also I want to show you there is the there is a cute oops now she's heavy um, yeah I'll fix you guys later I'll fix you okay <laughs> I'm talking with my I'm talking to this lady There is there is one cute um cute item that I'm super duper super duperly as in mega mega excited. Um, back in the day, I think when it first came, 2000 maybe 2010, 2011, or um earlier than that. Um, this particular this particular baby arrived but I didn't bought it because I wasn't sure yet about you know spending um, money about Louis Vuitton because I know they were like expensive but back in the day the original price for this one I think it was like 300 something 300 dollars something only and and then this item was discontinued I, be, before it was um before that i was already prepared to pay 
300 something because back in the day 300 something is it's big money even today 300 something is a lot of money but I was just talking about the, the price comparison of Louis Vuitton back in the day and this day and age I'm talking about day and age as if it's like <laughs> as if it's like you know 50 years ago no it was like 2009 2010 so that's like 10 years ago um yeah 10 years ago let's say 10 years ago this is uh, this was just 300 dollars something let's say 395 and uh and then it i was prepared to to spend that money and then discontinued no stocks nothing nothing you can't find it anywhere it's sold out and then I was searching and scouring online. There was, but they're like already like torn and torn everywhere, like use overuse and the price. You want to ask the price? It's 1000 something of that. Um, um, you know, the. <clears throat> The appearance whatever it's called but um, then I stopped thinking about it because I'm not gonna spend a grand of that quality and then suddenly uh, as I was browsing on Facebook market and I couldn't believe myself I saw this one um, I I forgot to tell you about what's what's the name of this um, cute little thing it's wapiti it's a camera bag that um, yeah that's the name of it wapiti w a p t i uh, w a p i t y wapiti um there's even in the multicolored in this one i believe in the black multicolored and um, yeah i was like so i was browsing on facebook last when was it um i think early this year oh no not early this year because the corona has already start late last year yep late last year i saw it on facebook i was i was like oh shit really and then i messaged the uh, because i saw the price it says like um, three hundred fifty dollars. I couldn't believe myself. Three hundred fifty dollars, and then I was like, "Oh, it must be fake." Cause how come it's so cheap? And then I I start digging the the investigate the photos that she put, and then I was convinced it's authentic. And then I messaged the lady, and she's like, "Yeah, it's still available." And she's she's in Gold Coast. So we, we really drive there for like one hour and a half just to get this thing. Because I really want to see it myself to know that if it's really authentic because I don't want to pay, pay her and she posted it to me and ends up like fake. So I had to see it for myself. So we went there, we drove and then I was so excited. And then... I didn't even expect that she she still has the the dust bag and the complete packaging. Um, so it came from this box, the original the original box. Um, yeah, with the original dust bag, the the card that always comes with it, like this. You know that that one. Yes, Chloe. Careful. What? Yeah, I'm nearly done. So sorry my child wants a snack she opens she wants me to open her biscuit so yeah so she gave me the the dust bag the box I was like oh 
that's even 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 you know a plus so and then I was so excited she showed me I was like she didn't I didn't even open it yet but I already know it's really authentic it's really so I just paid $350 for this I know it's a lot of money but this is a unicorn it's a bargain it's a unicorn what unicorn means is I don't know unicorn they called it unicorn if it's really 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 special and one of a kind in this condition guys I saw this on um because I always research things before I buy it if because because if the price is right um in this condition I saw um at least three website has this one the um the maximum price that I saw was um three thousand dollars yes three thousand dollars the 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 one the other website was um two thousand something dollars so and then the other website has like one thousand something dollar which is that was really super duper used looking so this is really a unicorn guys really so luckily i got it first because um yeah it's awesome whoops and then plus my favorite color is inside it's red it's the velvet red inside there's still the um the code in there but as you can see guys my hands disgustingly <laughs> wet yeah i have a gross hands it's always wet because um winter is done we're already in spring so it start to get warm that's why this is really my favorite one of my i'll say this is my favorite among of my second hand purchase because i've been eyeing this for a long time and i got it in a awesome price my hand is disgusting as in disgusting seriously it's sweaty any of you guys suffer with <laughs> um i don't know what what's this condition called if you know the answer please comment below and yeah and i i have this cape pouch so that's a key pouch actually my car keys in here <laughs> and yeah if you saw um on my video this trap is brand new as well to go with my um, Eva clutch. I haven't used this yet, and I just I just bought it because I know it's gonna be gone. So when you check on um, Louis Vuitton, this strap is sold out again. So if you if you see something you like on on um, YouTube, I mean. Louis Vuitton guys if it's available grab it if you if you liked it because it's when it's gone it's gone then you're gonna wait another like three to six months or a year and also this is my wallet it's a it's called Tresor this is like vintage I also got this from Aras so this is my actual wallet this is my wallet today so let me see if I have yeah all my cards are there my cards let's see if I have money <laughs> I actually have money guys <laughs> Ta -da! 
I have hundred dollar and five. What? I have hundred dollar and five. Ooh, ooh. I might go to take a max tomorrow. <laughs> uh. So yeah, this is only my this is what my money left and I have nothing. <laughs> and what else? Yeah, this one, this is cute. This is um a card holder. This is super cute. So cute. Still has a thing in there. You know, you know the the Louis Vuitton coated fabric of hide leather lining, blah blah blah. Chloe's laughing when I say blah blah blah. Yeah, this is super cute. Cute. I already sold some of my um a new accessory the cigarette case that I'm not really a cigarette person I don't really use it as a cigarette I just use it for my um, lipstick holder and what else did I sold I had yeah, the, the the straps that I bought for from Ara the second hand straps I sold it because I bought the brand new one and and on this side I have lots of um, wallets as well they're all they're uh, Michael Kors this I think this was still brand new I haven't used this yet because um, yeah I just I don't know as I've said if I'm sad lonely and homesick I just go go shopping and makes me happy even if I don't really need it but I know I'm gonna need it but not at this point in time because I I like to match my um, out I mean my bag with my wallet so and this this wallet will is match with this bag see this is my this is Michael Kors. They're both Michael Kors. So yeah. They match. I like matchy matchy. And um also this one, this is really brand new. I still have the tags still intact in there. The tag I haven't still used this one I know I just bought things even some people called my my um, my collection they called it shit <laughs> I don't care what you called with my collection but this makes me happy so mind your own business Because we are just, we are all responsible with my, with our happiness. So this makes me happy. So I'm happy with it. And also, this was my, um, my favorite. Been using this for lots in Melbourne. Michael Kors as well. Because I love camouflage. This has been used a lot, but it's not overused because I take care of my things. Yeah, it's like... And I... I even got this one in special. See? If you could see the price. See that price, guys? Oh, uh, I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, it's in special. Also, this coach, this this was my favorite of all my red wallet. I don't really have a red one, but 
um, this one also is one of my favorite because it's red I got this one I think on my birthday or my anniversary because yeah that's what I said guys um this collection has sentimental values with me because um, they are like I got for example I got them on my birthday on my anniversary um, yeah that's what I mean this Michael course as well that um, my uh, my older cell phone fits in here I think my iPhone 7 fits here but now it won't fit any of my phone because the phones now are getting bigger and bigger plus um, speaking of I am um, phones my phones is out of contract so I was I am just waiting for um, the iPhone 12 which is coming and this one also is one of my favorite because this is a wristlet there's two wristlets I mean two compartment um, you can take it off that one show you the inside you got one there so most of these most of my collection are coming f I came from Melbourne because um, we, we, we live in Melbourne for nearly 10 years in there so as I've said before we just moved from Melbourne 2018 so we're just basically two years here in Queensland which I love and this one this is really really brand new I was trying to sell this one but it wouldn't sell it wouldn't sell this is um, now the, the paper transferred already because it was pa um, wrapped in paper I don't know it's just absorbed so my my sweaty hands is helping so as you can see it still has ribbons tags and all so this is still brand new really brand new um, this is called what's this brand called I forgot a uh, com decor zone com decor zone this is really nice color guys if you could see that one really neon it's made in Spain it's really yeah I, I'm still trying to sell this one if you're interested <laughs> if you're interested if you're interested just just um comments below Wait, I'm hearing something. Oh, it's not me. It's the neighbor. Neighbor is doing a renovation. That skips me annoying whole day because they're digging something. I don't know, maybe they're doing a swimming pool or something else, but they're definitely digging the ground. And I also like lots of key holders. I don't know, I just like to collect small things like this key holder, it's from Memco they're so cute they're, my key holders are from Memco, they're so cute mm, and what else? I think that's all I'm gonna call Chloe so there you go guys if you like this video please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe 
Bye. Thank you for watching. Selamat.